What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode with the Yacht Tender Guy. I know it's been a while. This is our first video in 2022. And for that, I do apologize. It has been a very, very busy start to the year. We did have Miami International Boat Show. Now, the more important thing is that we're here back with you guys. And for you today, we are on board the 2022 Axopar 37 Sun Top with the Mediterranean package. So this is the first Mediterranean package 37 that we get in the States. Primarily, the main difference is gonna be obviously the bucket seats. You don't have the bucket seats on this 37, you have bench style seating, which I absolutely love because in this section right here, primarily, you can now fit up to five people. And then in the helm seats positioning, you have this bench, which you can easily fit four people. But more importantly, it's a lot easier to adjust the seats if you want to face aft and look at this you have a huge entertainment area with comfortable bench styled seating now as we move on back to the aft deck You'll notice that we have a different configuration from what we've seen in most of the other axle parts that we've shot. We have the multi-storage compartment. Now, I really like this feature. Yes, it is different than the wet bar, of course. You don't have the sink, you don't have the top-loading refrigerator, and you don't have the open walk space. But what you do have is an oversized sun pad in the back where I'm just gonna show you for reference. I'm six feet, and I mean, look at just the size and the space that I have over here three people comfortably. You can lay back here while the boat's cruising. We've done that, no issues whatsoever, even when you're doing the hard turns. So I truly like it, it gives it a different look. Plus, it gives you three sun pads on board. The main thing about this layout, though, is the amount of storage that you have underneath. So right now we do have all of our safety gears, we have some other uh, equipment on board. But just to give you an idea of all the things that you could actually put in here, water toys such as sea bobs, paddle boards, some jet boards as well. It pretty much is uh, a different layout than obviously the traditional wet bar. Now powering this beast back here, you can't miss them. We have the Mercury 300s v 8 Fantastic engine, very popular right now. And these are also the JPO system. So as you can see, they're equipped with the electronic steering right now. We're floating around in Key Biscayne Bay. I don't have the skyhook activated, but with the joystick, you do get that extra feature, which is nice when you're coming up to a marina, you press that button, gives you some time to prepare, get your lines ready, get your fenders out, and just gives you a little bit more peace of mind. The top speed on this, it's like we've seen on all the other axle parts, we're around 55 miles an hour with these particular engines. So we look over on this side, we have the optional swimming ladder okay so that what it does basically gives you that extra support uh, we still have the standard swimming ladder covered underneath that platform over there uh, so it gives you a total of two swim platforms you'll notice that this one is equipped with the live well so we do have some fishing rod holders on on board if we push this button basically the pump activates and you can put some live bait in there if you're a fisherman notice we have the traditional ski toe pole so if you want to do some tubing, some wakeboarding, banana boats, things like that, you definitely have the option. If not, it just separates, gives you a little bit more extra protection from the engines itself. On this side, we have the traditional box as well, where we have our fresh water hose. And then if you want to put some ice in there, you can. If you want to just leave it as storage, you can as well. Notice also on the Mediterranean package, the texture of the upholstery. It is way nicer, in my opinion, than the silver text. Yes, it's a little bit different. Some people will hate it, some people will love it. I don't dislike it. It gives it an extra elegant look. Again, this is a Mediterranean package, so it, it comes with the option, basically. But what I do like is that you get cushions all around. Primarily, these cushions on the aft uh, boxes, super nice. If I'm at the sandbar or I'm just floating around, sit two people here nicely, and it just gives you an extra support. This is also easily removable, so you don't have to worry about app. if you don't want to use them, you can take them off, and if it also gives you easy access to the box itself. Now, let's go over and have a look at the helm station.
As we move on back here, like we said before, we have the bench seat, which is a new option with this Mediterranean package. Now, another reason why I really like this is if I wanna have more people sitting back here, I can still drive this boat comfortably from a standing up position. I can, the weight of a person back here is not gonna prevent, it's not gonna allow me basically to move this back. So you can get a feel for it. I'm here, I'm comfortable. Like I usually drive this particular boat. For our purposes right now, I'm just gonna move it back. So we have a little bit more room to show you the features over here. Notice we do have the information display, all right? So we have the twin Simrad screens, a 12 inch behind the glass. I like this feature because I don't have to worry about covers and having somebody actually coming on board and uh, stealing the, the screens. We have rejoice the controller right here, which as I mentioned has skyhook. We also have auto heading. We were running the boat down from Fort Lauderdale down to Miami and we had the auto heading on. There were around three foot swells and the boat just kept gaining on its position, which I absolutely love. Traditional panels right here where we have our lights, our deck lights, our roof lights, our underwater lights, our wiper, our window wash, horn, etc. I'm not going to get into all those details. We have the automatic sunroof, which in a lot of the sea trials that we've done, a lot of people are just reminded of that from the, the Jeep style uh, sunroof that opens up. Automatic, super nice. Push one button and it opens all the way up. Gets me that nice breeze, that nice sunlight. And then if I simply just want to have shade, I can easily turn it back off. For now, I'm just going to leave it like that. Notice we don't have the Bravest package again, like I said before. So we don't have the Alcantara um, steering wheel. We actually have a leather wrapped steering wheel, which is also really nice. Everything else is pretty much the same. Your bow thruster, your trim tabs, Mercury digital throttle controls, our, G our radio system, and our waterproof USB charger. Now let's have a closer look at the bow section. The primary thing that you're gonna notice with this bow area as to the traditional axle parts where we've shot is the bucket styled bench that you have right here. So on a traditional axle part, you don't have these cup holders, you don't have this shoulder rest. So that's a really nice feature. I can lay back, have a nice armrest. I can put my big Yeti in there, which I love. And again, it's the same materials as the one that you have out back. It's just, it's a little bit different. It's not, I understand it's not gonna be for everybody, but I actually kind of like it. One thing also to mention, you get SDEC flooring with the Mediterranean package. So it's a combination in between artificial teak and uh, your traditional synthetic teak flooring, which is the, the nice cushiony one. So that pretty much wraps up this bow area of the 37. I'm not gonna get into too much detail on the anchor locker. You guys have seen that in my videos in the past. And if you haven't, we'll leave the links in the descriptions down below. You can see the, am the amount of uh, storage space that you have in there. You also have your battery chargers, your shore power connection. But as we move on back, I will show you the gold wing doors. That's always a nice feature to show. Gives you direct access into the cabin. I'm not gonna go into detail on the cabin right now. We do have a lot of gear right there, but like I mentioned before, if you go to our previous videos, you'll be able to see the interior. Main difference is gonna be that you have the same upholstery on the exterior as you have on the interior, which is gonna be a difference with a traditional um, 37, as when you have the silver text in the exterior, you do have a different upholstery in the interior. So I know there's some people that don't like having different upholstery, so that's a nice feature. So that pretty much wraps up this walkthrough on the Axopar 37 Sun Top with a Mediterranean package. Like I said, guys, this might not be for everybody, but I am becoming a fan of it. I primarily like the bench styled seating. I think that it's great that you can fit more people and obviously the ease of just swinging the bench back. I don't have to worry about actually flipping all the three seats at the same time. I get some people will still like the bucket seats. They like the racy feel to them and they're not going to be primarily a fan of this uh, upholstery so it's going to depend primarily on the customer um, guys this was our first video again of 2022 we are excited to bring more and more videos to you guys so we're working on that stay tuned because it's going to be a good year please feel free to leave some questions in the comments below 
As always, I ask you guys to please like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and click that notification bell as it does help the algorithm a lot and it will help us grow and be able to do more videos of these for you. With that, it's the Yatender guy, out.